everyone welcome back to my channel today I wanted to do a bolder look using purple so I hope you guys like this give me a thumbs up if you do don't forget to subscribe to my channel and thank you so much for watching bye hello everybody so I'm going to prime my eyes with Mac Pro Longwear in NC 15 using my ring finger I find that using my ring finger sometimes blending this out just kind of works a little bit better than a brush or even my sponge so just using that ring finger and tapping that out next I'm going to set that with the RCMA no color translucent powder using my morphe taper m438 brush and I'm just setting that concealer um, so that it's no longer tacky or sticky getting ready for eyeshadows I am going to use the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm starting off with the shade Silk Cream. This is such a beautiful shade. It's a very neutral shade as you can see as I'm putting it on. Um, you can barely even see it on my skin tone. It's a really nice shade to just kind of lay down so that all the other colors that we lay down will just kind of blend a little seamless and a little bit more smooth. I am using the Sigma E40. This is a, just a big fluffy brush just kind of pushing that all over no rhyme or reason just getting it on there in the crease starting to define that crease just a little bit I'm going to define the crease a little bit better using Hustle um, with the E25 by Sigma now with this this is a goat hair brush and it's going to display this color and the shade a little bit more sheer so I am gonna to have to go back quite a few times and dip back into that shade Hustle um, to get the pigment payoff that I want but I'm just taking this on this brush windshield wiper motions back and forth back and forth back and forth making that um, that crease be a little bit more well defined and get ready for the darker shades that are about to come up next I'm going to come in with royal this is a really beautiful purple it's got little like flecks of sparkle pink you can't really see the sparkles um, once the shade is on well maybe you can just a little bit um, but it's so beautiful and I am going to take this on <clears throat> a Morphe M522 flat shader brush what I'm doing is I'm starting down by my lashes and kind of working that shade up towards my crease you want to be careful when you put on dark colors like this because you can go in too quickly and it can turn into a really big mess if it goes up past your crease you can start looking like you got punched um, especially with a purple so you got to be careful when you're applying dark colors like this so initially I go in and I tap it on there and then I'll do my swiping motions I feel like tapping the dark color on will kind of build up the color and be a little bit more opaque and bold um, so that's why I do a tapping motion first and then I swipe it across just kind of blending it out so to um, get rid of the harsh lines between the crease and the upper lid versus the shade on the lower lid I'm going to take that um, E25 with just a little bit more hustle on it um, just to kind of blend out the crease so that we have no harsh lines in those windshield wiper motions. Now I did feel like doing this um, did take away some of the pigment of the purple so I am going to come back and just tap that purple kind of on the ball of my eye just not really all over the lower lid staying below that crease not taking it above. Next I am going to take on an Sigma E55 the color beam I'm putting this right over top on the inner corner of royal and what this is doing is it is going to make that royal purple a little bit more silvery light purple I like to keep the lighter colors on my inner corner and kind of ombre effect out towards my outer corner of my eye I feel like doing that kind of helps open your eye a little bit more and um, kind of just brightens up the, the inner corner of the eye to kind of bring a little bit more attention. So I'm going to go ahead and just do that both eyes here. You can see already that that is just kind of making a brighter um, purple. So then I'm going to put a little bit more of that royal um, right on the outer corner here, just darkening that up 
to blend the two so I don't have that harsh line like you see there with no additional product. I'm just taking that um, E55 and just kind of tapping it right between the two colors to kind of blend them. Next on the Morphe M433 brush, this is a little bit more dense, a little bit more precise than the Sigma E25. I'm taking the color Soda Pop. This is a really dark kind of plummy wine purple and I'm putting that on the outer corner. So like I said, keep the lighter colors on the inner corner and I'm bringing that drama on the outer corner with the Soda Pop. And then I just felt like I was having a hard time blending Soda Pop and Royal Royalty together. And so I grabbed Twerk with the M433, that same brush, and I just kind of put that right there, um, just on that outer corner in the crease. Again, to bring a little bit more depth and dimension so that those colors would just blend a little bit. I don't really see that Twerk color um, as I put it on there, but I did feel like it helped blend those colors together. And then with a completely empty brush, um, I think that's another E25. I'm just kind of dusting that along the upper lid to kind of blend those colors. And then I'm highlighting with Beam again on that E55 brush, just on the um, uh, brow bone. So I don't have any foundation on, and I like doing dark shades like this, dark looks like this without the um, foundation on first because I can take my Neutrogena wipe, it's just a makeup wipe, I wrap it around my nail and I kind of drag sharply from the outer corner of my eye up towards the tail of my brow. So that is gonna kind of cut that shade, and make a nice harsh line. I hate saying the word harsh, it's not ever nice, but Doing a harsh line like this will help me make the cat eye with my eyeliner. I am using the gel liner by Maybelline in shade Black is Black, and I'm using that on um, the Sigma E65 um, angled brush. It's a really small angled brush. You can get it very precise. I didn't want to have a huge, well, a very thick. Um, band, liner band, so I just try to keep this really close and tight to my lashes. Coming to into the inner corner, I'm so terrible about my liner and I always pull my outer corner like I am, causing premature wrinkles. It's terrible. Don't do that, ladies. Try, try, try as hard as you can to do liner without pulling the skin of your eye. It's, that's just going to give me more wrinkles. i got to get a better night cream see if I can battle some of that. But anyways, I'm just going to put that liner over here on this eye. I'm very careful, doing little small strokes, um, just trying to keep this well controlled. Um, it's very easy to let your liner get away from you. So just try to go nice and slow, take your time, come all the way to the inner corner. Now you could go all the way down into the tear duct of that um, inner corner and give yourself more of like a cat eye, but I decided just to keep it like that. So moving on to the face, I'm using Maybelline Master Prime in the Blur and Defend, the purple tube, and I'm just gonna take a generous amount of that and put it on my face just with clean hands, just kind of rub it in. It felt so good, it felt very silky. Um, it even felt a little bit better than my e.l.f. primer that I've been using for a couple years. Um, and it seemed to, I think it laid my foundation on a little bit easier too. But I am going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation in the shade Porcelain. I sped this up a little bit. I'm buffing this in, moving it around, blending it out, all with the Morphe M439 foundation brush. This is the Kubuki brush that I use on every little tutorial. Every time I put on my foundation, I've been using this brush for the last five years. I think five years I've been using this brush. This is my second brush. I have replaced it once um, because I went ahead and used my original one for my sunless tanner that I will put on in the summer. I am going to conceal my lower, or well, my under eye area with the MAC Pro Longwear NC15 concealer, and I'm using a Bare Minerals concealer brush. It's just a flat, very dense brush. Um, I really want to use my finger 
for this, so I am going to just put that on a nice, generous amount because holy moly, I wanted some coverage. And to even out the highlight under the eye, I put some on my forehead and down on my chin. And then I wanted to use some of the Sephora Smooth and Brightening um, Concealer in the shade Claire slash Fair. So I added a little bit of that to the forehead, down the center of the nose, and down to the chin. So to usually blend this out, I usually use my Real Techniques sponge. Um, oh, I did put some on like the jowls. I'm saying quote unquote jowls. Just kind of help hide that and brighten that up. So like I said, I usually use the Real Techniques, but my cat got a hold of it and just tore it up. So I bought something new. It's still a, a Real Techniques sponge, but this is the Base and Finish Dual End Expert Sponge, and you're supposed to use it dry. Now the Real Techniques sponge, the original one, you get it under the water and squeeze, 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 and it just fattens up and it soaks up any extra that you could have put on your face and you're just kind of blending it out a little easier. This one you use it dry and I was really hesitant to use it at first but I quickly realized even though it wasn't wet and wasn't soaking anything up it was blending out my concealer really 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 nice so I really kind of liked it so yeah I'll be using it again. I think it was pretty good. Thumbs up. Of course I'm going to set that with the um, RCMA on the um, Morphe tapered brush, that M438, and setting the under eye, making sure that the, that concealer is not going to set it into any fine lines or move around on me. Next, I still, of course, wanted more coverage, um, so I took the Arbonne Mineral Foundation in the shade Porcelain on this e.l.f. brush. This is a flat, I think it's just a powder brush from them, um, but it's really nice by dispersing that powder foundation. Um, just evenly across the face. And this foundation kind of gave me more of a dewy finish, even though the foundation itself is a matte finish. By adding this, it gave me more of a dewy finish. So I'm going to contour my cheeks with the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer using the Morphe M523 brush. And after I was done with this side, I looked back over and I saw that holy moly harsh line. I will blend that out, um, but I didn't want to forget my forehead, so I went ahead and finished up bronzing my face, giving that dimension by adding the um, bronzer on the forehead. Next, I'm going to go ahead and, with my <laughs> RCMA No Color Translucent Powder and the E2 by Morphe, that big fluffy brush, I'm going to diffuse that harsh line of bronzer. Um, just trying to correct that holy moly what is this stripe on your face situation. I thought maybe did I blend away too much? Let's add a little bit more and take a look. No. I, I that's still a little too much. Blend it out a little bit, honey. There we go. Get that side too. I am going to contour a little bit with the NYX contour palette and I'm gonna use my Real Technique sponge, that dry one. And I am going to carve out and make a harsh line with that. And what this is doing is it's going to give the illusion of having a thinner face. So that's why I am doing that. And for my blush today, I decided to go in with the Makeup Geek blush in the shade Infatuation. I don't know if this blush is discontinued, but I love this blush. I could use this on every look and it goes with everything. I love it. I'm going to highlight with the Jaclyn Hill collection with Becca um, using Perseco Pop on a fan brush. It's a very inexpensive fan brush. I think I got it at Sephora. I don't even know the number of it, but it's a very basic fan brush. Any fan brush will do. Um, but I really like how it put it on there. So next I'm going to take that um, Royalty on the Sigma E15 flat shader brush and I'm going to push that tightly up against my lower lash and I'm using this as my um, eyeliner for down on the lower lash. I'm going to smoke it out, um, kind of give a little bit more drama. Again, I didn't bring it all the way to my inner corner. I don't like to bring things that dark all the way to the inner corner. I'm just trying to keep it at light. 
buffing that shade out I am using the shade hustle again with the morphe m222 brush this is just a pencil brush um, pushing that color around kind of blending it out and smoking it out um, so it's not super harsh down there on the lower lashes Next, I'm going to take the shade Beam. I'm taking that on a Sigma E30 brush. This is a really small pencil brush with a goat hair, so it's going to put down the color a little bit more sheer. Um, okay, yeah, right. That is so bright on the inner corner. Sheer my whatever. Um, but I love this brush because it is so small and condensed. I can get right into that inner corner without poking my eyeball and causing my eye to go red. So I love this, this brush to put on inner corner highlight. Next I'm going to go in and do my eyebrows with the Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow in the shade Medium Brown. Um, I have only been filling my brows in for a couple of years. I have definitely have not perfected it yet, but I think I'm getting better. I'm just trying to keep the color on the upper portion of the brow, kind of defining the shape and then blending it out. I don't really show as the amount of blending that I do, but um, it's getting better, I think. And I did set that with the Control Freak by NYX, the brow gel, but I forgot to, sh to put that in the video. For my lashes, I went ahead and I used the Voluminous, Voluminous Lash Paradise by L'Oreal, um, and I just kind of teased that into my lashes to kind of give them more of a voluminous, lengthened look, both the upper and lower lashes. Um, I'm sorry I did not film, but on my lip, I did put the ColourPop Liquid Lip Trap with Midi in the center. Both of those are by ColourPop, and I love the combination. I don't know what happened to that. I don't know if it got cut off, but it wasn't here when I was editing, and I'm sorry. Um, I also did blend off that really harsh line using the tapered brush, the um, M438. I hope you guys like this, and thank you so much for watching. Bye!